What's up, YouTube? It's Mike, Sticks and Seams. Whew, glad to be back. I know it's been a hot minute. Uh, sorry, but uh, just been super busy. And uh, daughter's birthday peppered in between two major holidays. Haven't had a lot of free time, but I've been picking stuff up. So I got a stack up here from eBay, about three weeks of purchases, and I got big piles over here. Those are my spoils from the Tampa Collector Con that I went to yesterday. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Uh, again, hope everybody's been doing well out there. I was able to go to the Tampa Collector Con uh, yesterday. And I flew solo this time around. So I used it to my advantage and logged a lot of time at the, at the bargain boxes. And found some good steals, to be honest with you, in the dollar bins. But... Um, Something that I've never really uh, realized before, I think things kind of transitioned a little bit when the market kind of picked up, and uh, or maybe not, I just never noticed. A lot of the dealers have 5 10 15 $20 bargain bins now, and usually I can't even elbow my way in there, but I was able to hit a couple of them up at the show, and I found some really nice cards. My impression is it's like, you know, a $50 card maybe in the $25 bin and, you know, extrapolated down from there. So there's some cool stuff in there. Uh, definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, the first uh, kind of stack I want to show off is just dollar cards. Nothing too crazy, and the plastics are kind of sticking together. So bear with me. I'll run through them pretty quick. Just a FLIR metal base, Griffey. Then this is the Pacific Paramount uh, checklist. These are actually kind of hard to get. Uh, die cut there. And then the magnetic field. There is a little issue across the top, but for a buck, I'll take it. I love these cards. This is one of my favorite insert cards from Metal. 97 Circa Icon. Sorry about the lighting. Let's see if I give a little bit more. Defensive Gems, Upper Deck. This one's capture the flag. These are just some things I didn't think I had for my Griffey count. Uh, I've been looking for one of these home run heroes. Been watching them on eBay, and I, now I just found one for a buck. So that was cool. Then we got uh, another FLIR medal. If I can get it off, there we go. Just kind of made that. There we go. Then the base prism, which I did not have. Dollar. Stadium club. These are kind of a leather texture. I have the Griffey, the patent leather, I think they're called, but Andre's Galarraga. Thunderclap Ultra. Love these cards. The lightning looks electrified when you move it. Found another Metal Universe Magnetic Field Bonds. And this A Rod jersey card was sitting there for a buck, so I took that one. A nice little run here. Uh, somebody must have been a Manny collector at one point, and I kind of have, uh, it's not even a tertiary PC, it's kind of just a guy that when I stumble across his cards and they're cool, I pick them up, and that is none other than Manuel Ramirez. So we got uh, Fleer Ultra, this is a gold medallion power plus, picked up this Studio Master Strokes, these are serial number to 5,000. One of my favorite cards of the 90s, the Studio Stained Glass Insert. The Griffey's gorgeous on that. Found this little bad boy, 95 Select Mirror Gold. These are cool. Um, I know people have spoken about them before, but from Fleer Ultra, the Home Run King, they're a wood-grained card. And one is the Pack Pull, which is this, which Fleer Ultra was not happy with the final result of the product so they made them a redemption to get this one that you could mail in and it looks much cleaner so actually got both versions i've been on the hunt for this griffey exchange for a long time so if you find anybody finds one you let me know sorry that's what they look like in the back got a couple of pinnacle artist proofs with that dufex action Wish I stumbled across a little stack of Griffies like this. These are all like $40, $50 dollar cards in Griffies. Uh, Pitcher Perfect from Leaf. And this is another wood grain that's a number to 5,000. Got the 96 Select and Fuego. These cards are gorgeous with that Dufix. And uh, Finest Refractor was sitting in there as well. So 
buck a piece. I actually got 12 and he gave it to me for 10 bucks. So let's see here. We'll, we'll do this one. I'm going to give a little shout out here. Uh, didn't never met this guy before he was set up at the show has an Instagram account. Super nice guy. Um, just kind of talked the hobby and he, you know, obviously he's there to make money, but he's there to make relationships too. So, uh, asked me what I collected. I said, Griffey, he had one that I needed and we worked out a deal. Pretty much got these thrown in for free to seal the deal. So we got this tech Nomar, man, this lighting is bad. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can fix it at all. That stuff looking blurry. This is number to 199 Boba shit finest in this blaze jordan yeah man this is sorry some rough rough imagery right there but i got all those cards essentially to secure the deal on this 2010 bowman chrome refractor griffey uh, if you watch some of my older videos i made a comment about that i didn't have a lot of griffey refractors so i've been picking them off when i find them for a good price and he gave me a really good deal on that um Let's see here. This next stack here has a little few runoffs. Here we go. I'll separate it. So this stack here is from Mealy Pops. He had two tables set up at the show. Uh, the table I'm referring to is just the sea of boxes and top loaders. And everything was 50% uh, off price smart. So this stack here, at the end, I will tell you what I paid. But I found a score select Jeter rookie. Then the prospects. Jeter, oops, found this Aussie Albies, I think he's pretty underrated, optic purple, let me just try to fix that, there we go, found these two bad boys, uh, Nick Gonzalez Bowman Chrome first, got this Adley Rushman, what is that, camo, I think that's what that's called, found this insert from 99 Invincible at Derek Jeter, I got a nice uh, Jaron Duran refractor. Found this Juan Gonzalez refractor. Pops Mysteries Finest. Found this Maglio Adonia's autograph. This is the only one I'll tell you the price. I paid $1 for this card. Maglio Adonia's was good. Got these two bad boys from Inception. Mount Castle and Cabrian Hayes rookies. Uh, see how they were marked in the box as two bucks a piece, and then they were a dollar a piece, so two bucks for those two cards. And this was the gem that I found. It was kind of buried, uh, stuck to the back of another plastic, and it is a rookie card of Mike Trout. It's the Oback. I think this was given out at the National some years back, obviously, but um, this was just floating in there. had a price tag of $25, and it was 50% off that. So I did well. All these cards, 25 bucks. This was the first purchase of the show for me. I hadn't seen one with an inscription like this, so I worked out a deal with the seller. And it is a Bobby Door Jersey Auto Inscription, nine-time All-Star. Then did not have an auto of this Hall of Famer, so picked up a Warren Spawn Cut Auto 99, and that's out of Panini. And that was, I think that was 15 bucks. These are the two cards I got in those boxes I was referring to, you know, like those 10, 15, 20 dollar bargain boxes. The uh, first one is out of Museum Collection, it's serial number to 50, and it is a Xander Bogart's. Netherlands World Baseball Classic patch and jersey card. And gimmicky card, but I've always wanted one from Panini Flawless, number to 20, George Sisler Diamond card. So I was able to pick up both those cards from the same dealer. Let's say 50 bucks is what I paid. Uh, I want to definitely give a shout out to Steven and Ryan from Breakout Cards. They had a boot, little table set up. Uh, Steven was man in the booth while Ryan was no doubt shooting footage for his vlog. But uh, I picked up some cards from him. Got uh, Ted Williams. Fleer. 70 Tops. Ted Williams manager card, which is in great condition. Uh, Trevor Hoffman Bowman rookie. 
And the big one from 68, Roberto Clemente, I needed for my set. Uh, aside from the off-centering, it's in really good shape, good surface, uh, corners are where you would expect it to be, but uh, purchased this from the guys, and I came across five more throughout the show, and I got it for less than half a, a lot of the stuff they were trying to get, so they definitely hooked me up, thank you guys very much, definitely check out the channel. Uh, let's see, this, this is, was my biggest purchase of the show, it was one bundled deal going back and forth with a seller. I purchased these first to kind of soften them up on those, but he had a $5 bin and a $1 bin. I got the Beltray rookie for five bucks. Um, Utley rookie was a dollar. These are just the nicest base cards. They were a buck. They got the net fusions from Revolution. Nomar, I was a dollar. Uh, Nate, if you watch, you let me know. I, I If you need it, I just wasn't going to leave it behind. I got it a good deal. 99 Donruss, stat line career. Must be some kind of platinum blue or something because it's numbered to 290. Found this Tony Gwynn Bowman Best Refractor. Cole Hamill's Bowman Chrome Rookie. And a Jim Cot that I needed for my 68. And this one's in really good shape as well. So it's another one going to the collection. So I did that deal first, soften them up. And then I walked around the show for about an hour. And then I circled back with them and was able to get the deal that I was hoping to get all along. So stack those over there. Yeah. It's from 99 Omega, Ken Griffey Jr. And these are serial numbered if my camera will focus. Does not want to. I uh, had almost had it out of two ninety nine. Um, wow. I don't know what's up on my phone today. There we go. Two ninety nine. So that's a really cool card. Don't come across that too often. He had a few nice Griffies, but uh, price tags were a little steep, and I had already spent a bunch of money. So this was essentially a throw in to get that deal done. Uh, my first Pee Wee Reese autograph on the Dick Perez. This one's really clean. Love the way it presents. And it was already Beckett slab. So couldn't go wrong there. And I paid 60 bucks for all of that, actually. 65 bucks for all that. So I think I had a successful show. I added a lot of stuff to my collection. Hit just about all my PCs. And uh, had a great time. So looking forward to another one coming probably sometime in the in the new year. Hopefully they'll have some good baseball signers. This one had Randy or Rosarena, but they wanted crazy pricing, and he was today on Sunday. So uh, I guess until next time, I hope everybody has a great week. And stay tuned because I'll shoot that video at some point, and I got some banger griffies in it. Uh, everyone have a good one.